All right, what's up, guys? Welcome to episode 15 of Two Girls, One League, brought to you by Not For Long Media. I'm Rossi, joined with Paige and Alex. How are we guys doing? Ooh, Pretty good. What up? Good, yeah. It's been a, it'd been a nice little Christmas break. Had to go back to work today. Um, that sucked. <laughs> yeah, off school, so don't really have to worry about much. I'm gonna yeah. I'm gonna start out by saying this. There's been one mother effer that just keeps thinking he's funny and commenting on our TikTok things and just oh. bashing us. Ben <laughs> Fix and his profile picture is this. Oh. And he so. just every time I go to look, because you know, I expect us to get pooped on because some of these clips aren't the best but if you listen to the actual thing it does get better trust me but every single every video he's got something to chirp he looks every like single he thing he looks like he belongs on a list Can I yeah <laughs> you just said it and i would agree with that statement so <laughs> i'm not going to give him any publicity well actually now that i'm looking back it's not too many maybe he's deleted some but he just is really on us, and I would like to formally invite him on this podcast. And I want to see his face, and I want to see how many teeth he has. And what is that? Whoa! I, have to, I just try to pull it up on my TikTok. <laughs> first. Okay, maybe he hasn't been on every single one, but the latest one he was on, and I feel like the ones I have checked, I always see his creepy little avatar up there. Anyway, we won't give so, any of our haters. Any yeah. more publicity for our lukewarm takes, but yeah, seriously. We have, so. we have some haters, honestly, and I mean, That's I always funny. say they help the algorithm. I welcome it. <laughs> them commenting, them commenting helps us in the end. So, anybody um, have anything juicy over Christmas break? Oh my God. Um. Well, I found out that Santa's not real, so <laughs> that was pretty shitty. No. Um. <laughs> No, I don't think anything juicy. It was freezing cold in Florida. I can imagine how it was oh by God. now. It was crazy, yeah. Oh, my God, all the crazy storms. I didn't realize how bad the storms up north were. They were bad. Yeah. It was five degrees where I was at, so. Like, in Buffalo and stuff? Buffalo like, was really bad. Yeah. This is, like, equivalent of, like, hurricane for them. Like, no emergency help. Like, crazy. Yeah, I didn't know it was that bad either. Until I like saw the news and actually saw everything, and I was like, "Oh my god, people are like getting stuck and like dying." We didn't really, no one really talked about that how bad it was, but um, yeah, I feel like nothing too crazy. Everybody have a good holiday. Hopefully, everyone listening had a good holiday. Some good food, good presents, and lots good, of good uh, food. Oh my god, I'm a fat family ass. time. I have to go sign up for a gym, a new gym, because I need to get my yeah. ass into shape. <laughs> I just did my first workout today. Yeah. And I, All I've done is eat and drink for like a year straight. I feel like it's getting a little yeah. ridiculous. Did you guys? Did you guys give or receive any NFL gear for Christmas? No. Um, <laughs> no. I got hella hella Eagle stuff. I also yeah. gave my brother my Jalen Hurts jersey. In the years past, I have. You gave him a jersey. You have. Yeah. Is he know it was yours or did you play it up to be something he knows, else? He knows. He he took it well because yeah. it's mine, but I don't wear it a ton. So he was oh, like, okay. you know, I really like this. And then later on in the day, I was like, you know what? Well, that was easy. You didn't really have to put much effort in there. Yeah, yeah. All right, let's get into the football. Let's what get into it. What we got leading uh, up to this episode. Honestly, I'm gonna be like, I don't have that much talk to talk about because I feel like. I was a normal human being and I interacted with my family members on Christmas Eve and Christmas Day. So I was just kind of, you know, popping my head in the room every one now and then. But yeah, like when we had to do notes for this podcast, I was like, uh, JJ Watt retired. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> well, we can start with that. That that was a big Yeah, that was a big announcement from JJ to uh retire i feel like i didn't see that coming but now that i look at the situation i'm like god make it makes sense yeah, I mean, he's beat up that dude's beat up yeah he just had his uh and then all that stuff with his heart in the beginning heart. of the season like yeah it might, i'm i'm gonna say 
Yeah, he's, he's now a new child. father. Just had a baby recently, like maybe a month or two ago. Yeah. Take care. Remember, of the remember the year he won a uh, defensive player of the year, and he had like five touchdowns. Man was, man was crazy. Yeah, yeah. definitely gonna miss him. Definitely gonna miss him. But um, happy he was able to get out and get out when he's freaking happy and alive. Um, <laughs> so <laughs> he's getting out with all his limbs and. Um, yeah, great career, Brian. Yeah, um, he's dude. He, 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 he has like a body that's not going to be able to like walk when he's older, though. Oh, yeah, okay. I could see that. I could see that. We still have his brother, though. Luckily, I wonder if he'll get into coaching. Now that'd be pretty sweet to have him. Into oh yeah, that's true. I'm, no, I feel like I could see him getting into um, like announcing or something. Yeah, like analyst. Yeah, they yeah, all turn yeah, into. Yeah. He's so. got like the per the big personality for that, so they're definitely gonna sign him for that. I'm sure. Yeah. Um, yeah. That'd be pretty great. Uh, you some disappointing news in the football world. This Ravens New Year's Day game got flexed to an eight. Oh yeah. Come no. on. For what reason? Even the players like. I saw Patrick Tween Queen tweeted and was like come on, like, why did that need to be flexed? And I completely agree. There's no reason, all right? Of all the games that we begged to get flexed off of primetime, this is not one that needed to be flexed onto primetime. <laughs> like, we were, me and my friend trying to tailgate, have a good time, New Year's Day. Like, now it's got to be a full day event. I'm not going into the game now because it's 820. Those things, like, those oh, primetime yeah. games, they set you back like a full week. You do not recover from those at this age until like Wednesday. Wait, so, so what day is it? Oh, it's January 1st? Yeah, New Year's Day. Okay, so wait, dumb question. The ball drop and all that, that's the night before? That's the night before, Jesus Christ. Okay. <laughs> well, I fucking hate this holiday. Is it, well, what are you even... I, I know. know. New Year's Year's holiday. So holiday. Dumb. It's the Wot holiday. I I'm think there's a, a lot of people that really love it, but for me, it is the most weird. overrated holiday, and I hate it. Weird. My I think dream, weird. New Year's Eve is to get invited to a wedding so that I have, like, a plan, and I don't have to, like, and I don't have to pay $100 for a ticket to a bar that I was just in the other day in a jersey and leggings for free. Well, I am actually, I'm going to Epcot this year. With uh, my family's friend, oh, the yeah. So I will be in Epcot, and we'll do around the world and all that. That's the only reason I'm excited for it. But like you said, the years prior and the years to come, I don't. I'm not a big New Year's Eve. I think last last one I sat on the couch and just chilled with my ex boyfriend, and that was about it. But yeah, I'm not a big New Year's. I don't know. Overrated, Rossi. What do you think? Um, I don't know. Like I like going out on New Year's and. It's fun and all, but I'm kind of a homebody, so I I ideally want to have, like, my close friends over, a group of small people, and just drink mm -hmm. and, like, have fun. Um, yeah. I'm going to the Eagles game on the 1st. That's not really New Year's, but, like, that's What's something it, I'm yeah. looking forward to. Eagles versus Saints. Eagles versus Saints. Hopefully everyone can start the New Year's with a win, honestly. I know. I know. Anybody got any good recaps they want to talk about this past weekend? Oh, my Games God. Out to you? Eagles versus Cowboys made me want to vomit, throw up, and then literally – I just see a little bit of that game. So that was on when I was on Christmas Eve. Saw it, that game. it made me sick. It made me physically sick losing uh, because I'm not used to the Eagles losing. And I literally felt unwell. Yeah, I watched I that one. That was, that was a close one. I ate my words a little bit because we were on just on Colin's podcast and he was like hyping up the Cowboys and I was kind of like, shut up. Um, I mean, the but, only reason I'm not fully because Jalen wasn't playing. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, like, I would, and yeah. like, I think on a good day, the Eagles, they, they're not going to turn the ball over four or five times like we did. And we're also on a good day, not going to give up 40 points on defense. It was just a high scoring game. Yeah. We had injuries. Um, yeah, yeah, you guys are beat up. We're going to have injuries with Lane Johnson now out. Um, Gardner Johnson's been out. Maddox is now out. So it's kind of a shit show. We really need Gardner to – Gardner's going to be back soon, Johnsy. 
Yeah, a, a, he's getting testing done on his kidney, but like we just really need that first round by because like if we don't, yeah, it's not gonna go well. Yeah. What's the what? Do you know the recent updates on um, Jalen? Where is he at? He's gonna try to play versus the Saints okay. uh, because like yeah, they really want to get the buy secured. Um, but I don't know. I don't want him to hurt himself more. I feel like we could still beat the Saints with with Minshew. I mean, he looked good. He did. He wasn't. He really wasn't that bad. Like you said, I think it was just a sloppy game all around, honestly. And the Cowboys were kind of having a day. So, yeah. unfortunately, I wanted. I was actually the first time ever rooting for the Eagles to win because Giants fans, we kind of wanted and slash needed Cowboys to lose. But as that turns out, the Giants are it's still in the hunt. <laughs> We are still we are still in it. If we can win out one of our next two games, which um, the Commanders and Eagles, uh, we will still get in it somehow. So that'll be interesting. That will be yes, quite that's, interesting. That's nuts to me that, that the whole NFC East could make the playoffs hypothetically. Yeah, it's insane. They used to call the NFC East the NFC least, and now we're almost yeah. all in the fucking playoffs. I don't want to hear that shit ever I'm again. All stuck. <laughs> Not this year. Play each other, yeah. so it's stupid. <laughs> what I, listen, I, I don't, I don't it's expect. Not, it's not used to be. It still is. No, hell no. Yeah, you're crazy. I don't expect um, much from the Giants anyway. But um, yeah, looking back on that Giants game, I thought. I don't know if any of y'all tuned into that, but that was a nail biter to the end. I actually turned off the TV after we got our uh, punt blocked, and I thought that was the end of the game. And my dad went upstairs to go uh, get ready, and he came down in his bath to towel screaming, put the game back on because somehow it's tied up. Um, so that came out of nowhere. And then we lost to a damn 61-yard field goal, which I think if it was outdoor conditions, he would have missed that um, field goal. But, yeah, that was – that was a hard one. We almost got um, the Vikings there, but overall pretty good performance from the Giants. But mm -hmm. like I said, I'm not expecting anything crazy out of the playoffs, but you, you never know. You just need one game to get hot, and, you know, hopefully that can happen for us. Hopefully we can beat the Eagles too. That would be great for my own my own uh, sense over here. I can have some bragging rights for a little bit. No, only beat the Eagles. Well, uh, my team clinched a playoff berth. Yes, they did. Uh, you know what it is. <laughs> what is the update mean, on Lamar? Where is Lamar at? I don't like, know. Is he, like, is he alive? <laughs> I haven't heard anything on Lamar. Um, I don't. They're not gonna say early in the week because of like, because of they don't want people to like plan their strategy. So they're gonna say it like last minute. And they're never gonna have him practice while media is there. Um, but yeah, I mean, I we're still not playing well enough at all. I don't I think they should have. play him. Well, we I don't think they to. need to. We kind of have to now, I think. But we we clinched. You guys clinched, right? Yeah, but like we still have. I mean, I feel like we still need to do well. Like we look like shit. <laughs> Oh yeah. Like yeah, they don't need to play him until playoff, but also he can't just not play any games and, and then all of a sudden I think that he's gonna win a playoff game. Well, I don't think this game he well, should play. I, think, I definitely think next okay. one he next one he should um next one should, step yeah. in. Um yeah, I feel like he's gotta be like because I feel like if we were hearing because wouldn't have I feel like wouldn't if wouldn't he be on IR if like he really couldn't have been playing this whole time. I don't know. Yeah, they're just probably being cautious with him. Because we're now going on, like, week four or something. So, um, yeah, I mean, it was definitely the coldest game they've probably played in a long time. There's no way my ass was going to that game. I bailed so fast. <laughs> um, but, yeah. But uh, speaking of injuries and QBs, we go up to our man Tua. That oh, God fucking damn, yeah. sucks. That's horrible. Horrible. Someone check on my boy Tua. He's not okay. 
Yeah, he need, he needs to be done for the rest of the year just for his own. I think he is. Yeah, like I hope they don't try to do some BS around him again. But yeah, that ugh, I feel horrible for him. That's rough. That's a rough one. Kid can't catch a damn break. Just slamming his head every uh, every second he gets. It's unfortunate. But we'll see how the Dolphins treat it this time around. Speaking of quarterbacks, though, let's get it. Um, what did you guys think of that Mac Jones video? Honestly, I thought it was kind of stupid. Like some of those, I was like, this is not really. Well, the whole video, I think the one on Eli was 100% a dirty hit. He just got fined. It was only yeah. like $11,000. The NFL is apparently investigating it. And I, I, I saw the video first and I was like, nah, they're reaching. Like there was a yeah, I thought the video was reaching a little but bit. But then Darius Slay retweeted. Darius Slay retweeted the video, and he was like, "Yeah, he's a dirty player." So now like you that. believe it just because Darius Slay retweeted it? I Darius think it was a dirty. Slay, he, I, I think I, it was dirty. I think that some of them, like the ones where he's sliding and he like put his leg up, like that's not oh dirty. the cleat that, one. That's just like him protecting himself. Like he's gonna have a he has a two hundred something pound man coming at his head, like. Like, yeah. That's anybody's natural reaction to be like, you know, like, what is he just going to let him go on top of him? Like, no. But yeah, the ones where he twists the ankle, not necessary, but like, no offense, like, it's Mac Jones. Like, if you really think he's the biggest threat on the field to you, like, come on. I don't know. I, don't know. I can totally see Bill Belichick being like, you know what, Mac, just try to just try to hurt him. Or some shit. See, I don't see Bill as that. No, I, see I don't Mac, see Bill I see, saying that at all either. Yeah. I see Mac. I see Mac Jones as like a dirty little spoiled, dirty little white boy, rich kid. Yeah, that's how. Like he gives me a Zach Wilson vibe. Like that's just yeah. kind of the vibe I get from him. Just but like a, I don't. Like somebody that was like the, Yeah, exactly. Someone that's gonna like bitch not, the girls on. Like, like, fair. like this very much the opposite vibe of like Trevor Lawrence. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that so that's like, a great yeah. way to put it. Two opposite ends here. Right. Two um, opposite ends. But, yeah, I mean, he's going to find. and uh, Like, I wouldn't that, go as far to say the dirtiest player in the NFL, though. That's no, like God, no. 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 That's fucking, uh, whatchamacallit, that's Eagles man, Sue. What's his last name? S-U-H. Oh, God. Sue hasn't had a dirty play in years. I don't want to hear oh, that. Oh, but you cannot rewind and just forget all of his dirtiness in the years led up to he's this. Yeah. <laughs> oh no way! He's got that, that dude. Now. He is a dirty ass player, but that is true. He hasn't been in the headlines for anything. We'll see if that uh, see if you just jinxed it. See if that changes. Um, how do we feel about the the firing of the Hackett Broncos? I love. I know we love some Broncos slander on the pod. <laughs> He's a scapegoat because of Russell. Because Russell sucks. Russell got him fired. He's a scapegoat. Watching Kick Russell, Russell Wilson hurts. Like Russell Wilson, it's physically sickening. Like that was bad. That, that blowout. Oh my god, that was bad. And did you see? Uh, what should we call the backup started chirping too, and then they went at him as well. The offensive line. He was chirping out the offensive line to uh, go pick up Russell or whatever, and they turned around on him. So quarterback room is not getting much love whatsoever no but 51 to 14 Ooh. yeah yeah i mean props to baker baker went off oh yeah baker did go off props to him but oh, yeah, yeah. You, cannot, you can't lose like that no. did you see uh who could possibly that, that, that be? was really bad that was really 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 bad that game it was a bad game they have uh i Sean mean Payton they're, gonna, in the like, they're gonna get run. rid of him right like what are they gonna do with russell i don't know they yeah. just spent all that money to get him. They, had to. they said that it's fixable fixable i saw that i don't know yeah. if that's i don't know there that is I just mean, that. they i think they're saying i mean they just how much money did they spend like 200 million or whatever to get him i think they just paid it they just yeah, paid they him save like a, they save like a bunch if they cut him yeah true I don't know. They said it's fixable and that they can figure it out. I would be pissed. I feel like he's lost the trust of all his teammates and also yeah, I feel like they're nation, like all the way around there. Did you see those videos on like the sideline of the O lineman 
and the backup QB getting in that fight. Paige, where the fuck were you? I literally just said oh, that. You were so zoned out. You know, like, <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, wait. Can we cut that out? <laughs> no. We'll let that ride. We'll let that ride. It's been a long week, guys. It's, it's been, been holidays. Long. It's long. We it's have that brain day. fog. <laughs> Like we have that brain fog. It's crazy because the Eagles could have, could have, like, there was rumors that the Eagles were going to go for Wilson. Uh, oh, Russell Wilson. And there was also rumors last year that we were going to draft Zach Wilson. So we avoided two, Ooh. two really big issues. Uh, yeah. It's crazy. Holy shit. Zach yeah, Wilson you. was, uh, Zach Wilson was uh, demoted to the inactive list. He's not even like, the I, back, he's not even the backup. Yeah. His Did mom. Did you see him? Um, yes, his mom. Go ahead. <laughs> his mom and some fan were like DMing and um like I don't really I didn't really read all of what the fans sent because it was literally like oh, wait. but the mom like basically came back and was like, Nobody can succeed here because your fan base is so toxic. Toxic. Uh, Someone said there there's articles saying it's fake, but I, I don't know. I could see Zach Wilson's mom saying shit like that. He definitely would apples, be apples don't fall far from the tree, people. Well, he's also yeah. very active, like Instagram presence. Like, yeah, she makes like she's got like a decent following and has and like that makes videos like every day. Oh my god, that's the mom. It looks like the sister. Holy crap! Wow. Um, yeah, no, over Zach Wilson. He's annoying. He is that little rich white boy that thinks the whole world is out to get him. So he, I could care less about him. I'm happy that he's shit in the bed. Honestly. Yeah, I, I don't know what will happen with him. Yeah, I wonder. It, I mean, it'll be interesting if they just let him go or whatever. But I, think I would say. Gonna, I think they're going to move on, honestly. Move on. God, the Jets do that to everyone. It's so gnarly. They do move on from everybody. Yeah. I know. At f- fucking Sam. They Donald. ruin them. They ruin quarterbacks. Absolutely. You Why is quarterback? Like, I understand. Okay. I understand Zach Wilson fundamentally wise. Like, he's not the greatest quarterback, but you can't tell me, like, nobody's going to play well when they don't have confidence. And, like, the guy. Well, yeah. Is he, not only is he bad, but he has no confidence. Like, it's just shot shot well it's shot and i just don't get why they haven't given flacco a chance out over there in the jets i was kind of hoping he would make a you know comeback come back yeah that's what the world yeah. wants to, lead them to be like five and one when he was uh starting for them yeah Four oh one. wow i don't like that <laughs> Zach Wilson went out and said, I don't blame them. We have a very passionate fan base when he was being booed by the Jets fans. He maybe now is trying to save his ass, but I think he's done. I think he's done, unfortunately. Yeah, that sucks. I mean, he had his chance to when he got back off the bench and he just did absolutely nothing. So if he like he needed to bring it that day and he just did not. <laughs> he did not. Yeah, it was yeah. And then his backup came in. They like benched Wilson halfway through the game. And Wilson's backup, I think, passed the amount of yards he had within like six minutes. Yeah. For real. Yeah, I don't yeah. I don't know, but I'm over Baker. I mean not Baker, because I'm looking at the Baker Mayfield what? stats. <laughs> we love Baker. I did not realize I love Baker. He really went off. Sorry to change uh tones here, but Speaking of them, and then we can also go right into um, their safety got ejected for that hit. Did y'all see that one? Yeah, that, that, was, was, that was dumb. He didn't need to be ejected for that. You don't think so? No, it's football. We're playing football here. Oh, Derwin James? Yeah. yeah. Sorry, I, I, was I meant to say the Chargers, not the – Yeah. Um, oh, yeah, I, I was going to that one. Ejection worthy either. Really? That was a – I feel like that was super aggressive. I mean, it's, it's not just annoying. Football. Like the NFL is ejecting people for hits like that, but then they they push people like Tua to play through his. And let Deshaun Watson play. True. <laughs> yeah, Deshaun yeah, Watson. Oh my god! Stop. <laughs> the Ravens also. After, he got his. Uh, they just got a win, right? They went. They took down the Titans. Um, they should just be like they should just no. have like an asterisk next to them, like kind of like COVID year. 
Like it should, it shouldn't count. Nothing they do should count. Who, who are you <laughs> like talking they, about? The Browns. Like they just get to play to play, you know. Oh, the Browns. I always, I keep thinking he's on the goddamn Texans every single time. No. I keep getting that mixed up. The Browns. Yeah, they shouldn't get to play. I agree. I agree. I always just think a that a huge they're... asterisk next to them it doesn't count. Doesn't count. Yeah. Um, I don't know how. All right. We got to do an ad read, Rossi. You're on the clock for the ad read. You're yes, let's see, how, let's see how fast we can get it, Ross. <laughs> um, all right, I never we'll done this. my timer. All Wait, right. I just pulled up my fucking calculator. <laughs> 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 all right, ready? Three, two, one, go. Having trouble getting a good night's sleep? Check out Psalm Sleep, the official quality night sleep provider of us at Not For Long Media and Two Girls Only. Use promo code GIRLS for 10% off a box of the best quality sleep product on the market. The scientifically advanced Psalm Sleep. Stack includes ingredients that are naturally found in your body, a healthy diet, and green tea. Psalm addresses sleep issues from three different angles, providing a more comprehensive solution. It begins with targeted nutrition to reduce supports your body's own natural sleep regulating cycle. Psalm also relaxes the mind, preparing the brain to transition smoothly from wake to sleep. Use promo code GIRLS for 10% off. <laughs> that you definitely beat Alex. <laughs> Did you time that? That was actually really yeah. fast. 27. Alex, I'm pretty sure yours is like in the 40s. <laughs> no. Paige, you couldn't even fucking finish her, so shut up over there. <laughs> this was definitely in the 40s. No, I think mine was like 30-something. It was like, you okay, it was like 39 or something. 30 something. We also have to factor in if you make any uh, mistakes, you know? True. Yeah, yeah. That adds like 0. 0.5 or something. Can I, just um, here? Can I just put this out here that okay. I'm in love with Justin Jefferson – <laughs> you love a Justin Jefferson in the terms I'm in of football? Love with that man. I am in love with him. Like, I'm in love with him. Genuinely. I, I like him too. He's he should be the MVP. And uh, um, unfortunately it's a QB stat, it's a QB award, but Mans is literally gonna break what was it, Calvin Johnson's record? Who is it? No. I thought he broke someone's record. No, the all time receiving in a in a season. I forget who owned who who holds it. Oh, um. Oh my God! I could see him. I it's just not, don't know. Not Randy Moss. No. Oh. No, isn't it? Oh my God. This is so bad. <laughs> this has to be the worst Wait, podcast we've it's done. Jerry, it's not Jerry Rice. <laughs> it's Moss. It's Randy Moss, right? Are you fucking with me right now? Can't no, tell. he he passed him. That's what I'm saying. He broke Randy's Moss single season receiving yards. No. Calvin Johnson. Yes. Calvin Johnson in 2012, 1964 receiving yards. 1964. 1964. So, okay, so what, then these, all right. So, whoever's fucking writing these articles are wrong then. It he literally says Randy Moss. For bro. Receptions. He passed for receptions, I'm pretty sure, but not yards. Oh, okay. Uh, I don't know. He's broken. Justin Jefferson has broken so many records. I, I wouldn't be surprised if he, if he gets. He needs, uh, I think, two hundred more yards to get the all the, to break the single season receiving record. So, I really like his. Uh, he's so attractive. I think Justin Jefferson. Paige, do you like him? Everything about him. The gritty. The, the gritty, gritty. The gritty. I like his goal. I like his uh, his teeth, the bling, and his taste. Yeah. I like Justin Jefferson all around. I do. Yeah, he's a great player. Seems yeah. like a great guy. But uh, he did have that scandal. Yeah. Wait, what was that the baby scandal? Oh. Yeah. That whole baby thing, which who knows? I'm taking Justin's side, though. Oh, that's good. I'm Women. taking his side. I'm taking his side. Um, how are you guys doing in fantasy? Paige, are you I have not opened done? my fantasy app since before since October. <laughs> I actually I try so hard. I just won my playoff game. Rossi, how about you? I, actually, apparently I'm not even in last place. So whoever is That's in probably last Colin. Place, no, in the um this is in the floor the Flax alumni one. Oh, I'm talking about ours, asshole. No, no, yeah, that one I don't even know. I haven't checked any of them, but I was. I'm no, you're in last place. For yeah. My Florida one, and they're sending like kind of because it's in like playoffs now. They're sending um, 
like, oh, like with the punishment and stuff. And I'm like, I literally have not opened this app in months. And I said to one of my other friends and they were like, you're actually not even in last place. Like whoever's in last place should be embarrassed because I kid you not, I have not opened that app since before I went on that San Diego trip, which was, <laughs> which was the weekend before Halloween. What do you got? You said you have punishments you got to do? I should have joined it. I yeah. Sid offered me the last spot. I just didn't do it. What are some of the punishments? Anything I can't crazy? say them on here. Can't say. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> we'll let that. Okay. Yeah. yeah. And you can say a lot of things, you. but obviously we can't um, go that far into detail. Yeah. Do the winner? Does the winner get anything that you could say? Money. Mm. I don't Stop. know if you guys. Um, if you put in like five or ten dollars, it's really not no L. Uh, if you guys have heard of like Walter Picks, but it's like a fantasy football, uh, co like a company. And so I'm part of like their fantasy football league. There's 32 people in it. And so it's super hard. Like you have to really like strategically, like, cause think about it. You have nobody's on your team. Like, yeah. Um, but the and you have to, did you have to draft them all? Yeah. Yeah. So the did you use up your whole entire time? Like you did in our league when we had to wait the full oh, yeah. like four minutes for Rossi? Yeah, I put a yeah, fuck out. Rossi was acting like she was the goddamn genius <laughs> of the real organization. <laughs> Rossi was out of control. Bro, I think Lopez were texting on the side just... like, is she fucking serious? Like, anyway, I feel like, like I want to go to bed. sitting at her computer. Like, why is she using the full goddamn time? <laughs> in this 32-man league that I'm in, I am going to lose. And the punishment is I have to raise $1,000 at a fucking lemonade stand. You have to raise how much? A thousand dollars to charity. Good I would give so, you a dime. Anybody <laughs> listening, anybody watching this, please hit me up. Please donate my Venmo, Cash App, Bitcoin. Do you have like you gotta a sell them lemonade, bitch? Do you have like a <laughs> I think how many days? It has to be in like one sitting. You're gonna be out there all night, girl. <laughs> <Dude. laughs> Holy shit! Ew! I would not buy lemonade from somebody my age. <laughs> You better get like your little cousin out there or hire a little baby for the day. A thousand dollars? That is so I would much. not give you. I'm gonna drag my little brother with me. Drag him out there with me. Be like, yeah, that's gonna take find like somebody under the age of six. Because no, I'm that's gonna take like a month. Woman money for lemonade. My girlfriend, she's like an influencer. We're gonna like post about oh, her, a whole little thing about it, and no, it's gonna be great content. It's gonna be great content. <laughs> like I said, bad publicity is good publicity, guys. People are gonna be shitting on me. I don't want to hear it. I don't want to hear it. Wait, don't you have to be outside physically? I don't have to do it anytime soon. Like it can, I can do the lemonade stand in like March or April, May. Yeah, I would wait to get a little bit warmer. But you're gonna have to be out there for like a month, dude. You're gonna have to. Bring a no. sleeping bag. I don't know. They said lemonade, so. You should have to go do it in front of uh, the stadium. Or what's that center Ooh, called? That's like, a good idea. Center. That is. You can make a sign. I lost that fantasy. Yeah. I and, like, I don't know. I hate to be like this, guys, but, like, I'm a woman, and, like, I feel like people will be nicer. They'll just True. Go, you know what? Take five bucks. And love ones too. So at the stadium or at your in your neighborhood? Because honestly, I would think you were like a homeless person. <laughs> <laughs> I'll do it outside the Phillies or the Eagles Stadium or something. <laughs> I don't know. You probably creep me out a little bit. Paige would rob you and make fun of you, probably. Honestly, yeah, I need to have security. I need to have all the nine yards. I take fantasy football way too seriously. Like if I lose, I feel like I'm gonna like vomit. Oh, yeah. If you even lose, are you going to lose? Are you close I'm to losing? Win. No, I, I lost. Oh. oh, so you really have to have a lemonade. So you, yeah, but you really I'm have really to do I'm happy this. about it, though, because if you ain't first or last, and like like I said, bad publicity is good publicity. I'm going to gain like followers. It'll be fun. I'll make a little montage. Well, you better fucking promote and maybe throw a tit in there to get our viewership <laughs> yeah. up a little bit. You better so start your own. Yeah, you can't throw, you can't throw one you have, so. Two girls, one D. You better start that if you want. <laughs> or, or one V, you know, like we can yeah, one we can, cust yeah, yeah, we can yeah. customize it to our For you, Rossi, we'll it. Customize. <laughs> customize, yeah, user preferences. Anyway. <laughs> Anyway, do we have uh let's let's look through our upcoming games real quick and uh let's say who we got 
who we got, who we taken. Have have you guys put any bets out lately or no? Um, yes. What was the last one? Uh, I had like NBA bets the other day, actually. Oh God, gag! Um, After you just shit on them, I did just shit on them. It was like the promo, whatever. Those things get you, man. Like, I understand (laughs) how addicts get addicted to these. Yeah. Do you have an addiction page? I feel like you might be up there. No. No, no, no. I don't. But like these. Like the way that if you have like your notifications on, one of my notifications for one of the apps is on. And so Marilyn, this is new because we have we just got this in December. So they we haven't had yeah. them that long. And like the way that they like is constantly showing up on your phone and like it'll be like giving you freebies left and right, mm. like or like no sweat bets. Like if you yeah. are have an addiction, you're fucked. Cause they I hook them in. If I had like way more uh, disposable income, yeah, I'll be betting a lot. <laughs> I feel like that's I'm kind of happy they don't have it in Florida because I could see myself really like losing control of myself with the betting. Yeah. Oh yeah. I, I mean, I got like addictive personality to begin with, so <laughs> not great. Not great. All, I'm saying, all I'm saying is, if they offer you the shit that's like boosted, like things were like, yeah, that stuff. Yep. That shit is not happening all right games this weekend ravens we got steelers no, like I said. go it's go me. in order come on thursday night football go in order right, girl. Right. <laughs> thursday, thursday night, night football cowboys titans cowboys unfortunately cowboys. that's gonna be another we're gonna take a nap at titans, at titans titans don't even need to win that game honestly like they might even just sit their their players for that game all they really need to do is make sure they win their last game and they make the playoffs. True. I got Cowboys, though. Unfortunately. Ooh, Dolphins Patriots is actually always a good game. Yeah, that is always a good game. Why is that? Game. Well, it's Tua. well, they don't have Tua. Well, hopefully yeah. they don't. And they got Mac Jones, who's going for kneecaps. Yeah. So I guess I'm going to go Dolphins because I can't support Mac Jones. Um, all right, Cardinals, Falcons. I'm gonna go Falcons. Falcons agreed. Saints, Eagles. Eagles. Too bad Chauncey isn't playing for his uh revenge tour. All I'm saying is if the Eagles drop another game and we don't secure the first seed, we're gonna have a problem. All right, we heard that live here. We got Colts Giants. You know Colts, who I'm uh, rocking with. Giants. Giants. But you're gonna say Colts. You gotta say Jeff Saturday and the Colts. Oh my god, wait a minute. What? I need to I need to reach out to Colin and get tickets for the Bucks games. I did not know Panthers. I'm not gonna be here. Are you freaking kidding me? Oh Panthers, I would say Panthers beat Tampa last time around. Shoot, of course I'm not going to be here. It's at box, so it's tough Damn. to play. I feel like it's tough to play at Tampa sometimes. Yeah, and Brady's on. Brady's just so confusing. Yeah, he's flippy, floppy. But Panthers coming off a win at Detroit, so I don't know. Yeah, that was a good Detroit team they beat too. So. I want, I want Panthers, so I'm going to say Panthers. All right, rock with the Panthers. Broncos, Chiefs. They better take Chiefs it. Chiefs all the way. Did they just play? Did yeah, they, they just, just played. Play? Yeah. Hopefully they drop 50. <laughs> uh, Bears, Lions. All right, that's a good game. I like that. I'm going Lions, though. Uh, why are every single one of these games at 1 p.m.? I don't know. Yeah, there's a lot of one. Is it always? I feel like it. I feel like that's like the most 1 p.m. I've seen. No, a that's a lot of 1 p.m.s for sure. What the fuck? <laughs> Maybe it, maybe it isn't. I don't know. Uh, Browns, Commanders. I got Commanders on that. We need Commanders. Oh, <clears throat> they're not playing Saturday anymore because yeah. of college playoffs. We got college playoffs this Saturday. True, we do. Y'all. Forgot about that. Mm-hmm. Um, Jaguars, Texans. I got Jaguars. I- I think they're heating up. Said, you just made fun of me for how I said it last time, and you just said it the same way. How? Jaguars? You were like Jaguars. 
<laughs> Jigwiz. Um, Browns Commanders. Ooh, I could actually see that being a good game. Ugh, shut up. I, I can't. I need. I need the commanders to lose, but I can't root for the fucking. No, we can't root for so, the creepy guy. I don't know. Maybe a tie. We're gonna look for a tie. Um, all right, moving forward, 49ers, Raiders. So I got 49ers. I really like them. I'm liking the way that's Raiders? Right you said? No, oh, 49ers. Come I on. I like the In the power rankings, they put the 49ers above the Eagles. Good. They got good it. players. They no, good players. Not. Absolutely not. No, I would like to see that matchup. I want to see that we matchup. I think in the NFC championship. So. All right. Well, I hope 49ers. I like the 49ers. They're kind of my like sleeping team. I like yeah, them. They're like a dark horse a little bit. Yeah, I fuck with them. Um, Jets, uh, Seahawks. I say Seahawks. dark horse. You know, they got Christian McCaffrey. <laughs> Nick Boza. Yeah, yeah. They've got like some of the best players. <laughs> um, Jets, Seahawks, you said? Ooh. Yeah. I might say Seahawks. I got I Seahawks. I think this whole yeah. trouble... What the QB is going to take Lightning, over. Packers. I feel uh, Packers, Packers are kind of to figure it out. Yeah, they're getting back on track. They're getting back on track. Packers are starting to figure it out. They're hey, starting hey, to gut out some up. wins here. They're starting to gut yeah. out wins. I'm excited I about mean, that. Granted, they were playing. Uh, no, Eric, he had a good game. He had a good he, game. I think the Rams, the one. And Tampa. He's got his mojo back. And yeah, Tampa. Um, who else um, we got? Rams, Chargers. Well, their defense started to figure it out. That that was the part that was really bad in this like early in the season was that defense was really bad. Yeah. And they looked good in the Tampa game, I feel like. Um Rams, Chargers. Chargers. Oh, you got, oh, you got Chargers? Wow. I'm gonna say Chargers. I'm going Rams. Steelers, Ravens. I feel like that's going to be a good game, Loki. I'm going to say no. Ravens. Ravens are going to kill the Steelers. Huh? I feel like that's going to – I'm going Steelers. Ravens, Ravens are out for blood. I hope so. Um, but the Steelers' defensive line has been – just their defense has been on par. It's a home game for us. I'm going to say Ravens. I'm going to say Ravens. I feel like maybe Lamar will be back this week. Yeah. I really, now I really that I'm thinking about it. That. it, it's so much he, more fun when Lamar's playing. It really is way more fun to watch, even yeah. when he sucks. It's just better. <laughs> Yo, know. Monday I don't night. I really explain it. Like even when he's at his worst, it's I still would rather watch Lamar play. No, I I feel that. Um, and then uh, Monday night, what a great fucking game! Bills Bengals. That is a good fucking game. That's gonna be great. Ooh, I, I everybody says I cuss too much on here. Yeah forgot we we're 10 years old um i'm going bills but god that's a good game that is that's a good, a good game. game i'm excited for it I don't, all right yeah i don't know that's a good one i might say hmm. um oh wait that at cincinnati um, yeah, yeah it's, it's, at, at, at cincinnati. it's at cincinnati um, oh i might say cincinnati yeah, that I think is a toss. You don't know which way that can go. That's gonna be a good one. Yeah, they're gonna have a home crowd no, there. Yeah, that's a Monday night football game. That's there a good go. one. That's what you flex for. That's what you flex for. Exactly. Exactly. All right. All right, guys. You got anything else, Rossi? Anything else you need to add to us? Go birds. Go that's birds. Right. You heard there. Go big blue. <laughs> Go Ravens. Ravens. Lamar. I'd love to see Lamar back. Come on, Lamar. Giants. Let's get a W. Um, but, yeah, catch us here. I think next week probably everyone have a good, uh, safe, happy holiday, New Year. Start the New Year's off New right. Year, Be yeah. safe. New Year's Don't Eve. drink and drive. And uh, have a good time, y'all. <laughs> see you next year. Huh? <laughs> uh, see you next year. <laughs>